Yo what is up guys, it's Accept here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm bringing you guys a League of Legends guide on how to clear with Nidalee in the jungle. So by the end of this video the goal is that you guys should understand how to clear just like the pros do on Nidalee in the jungle. So let's not waste any time, let's get straight into this video. Just like any other jungler, Nidalee can choose to start either with blue buff or red buff as her first camp. Now most of the time it doesn't really matter which camp you do end up starting with, but if you have one of the rougher matchups in the jungle like let's say Nocturne, then you're probably gonna want to end up on the side of the map that you know can get prior for you. So let's say you have a Renekton playing against something like a Shogaf top, then you're probably gonna want to end up contesting the top side scuttle crab. So for the blue buff clear, you're gonna want to start with the Q ability, stand up maximum range and then throw your javelin at 128 and a half seconds. This is gonna make it so that the blue buff gets hit right as it spawns and it's also gonna deal the maximum amount of damage because you're standing at the maximum range. After you've killed the blue buff, you're gonna want to level up your W and then go over to the Gromp, Wolves, Raptors, Red buff and then Krugs. After you're done with your Krugs, you're gonna want to go to the Scuttle Crab on the side of the map that you're standing on. If you for some reason did this clear like I did without a leash, then skip the Krugs because you're not gonna have time to get to the Scuttle Crab in time otherwise. Now for the red buff start you're once again gonna want to start with your Q and then go with the W but this time you're not just gonna clear straight up you're gonna want to go for red buff and then blue buff. The reason for this is basically because Nidalee has a lot of single target damage in the early game so in order to get the most efficient clear possible we want to go for red buff then blue buff then gromp because those are the single target camps. Now after taking the gromp you have a few options on your hand you can A look for a gank you can B look for an invade or you can see go and clear your wolves. All of them are fine and it really just depends on the game but here I decided to show you guys where I cleared the wolves and then raptors and then went for the bot side skull crab. If you're just starting to learn it in the jungle then this is what I recommend you doing as well. Now after taking the raptors I went for the skull crab that was on the same side as the raptors was on the map but if you don't feel like you can contest that skull crab then feel free to go for the other skull crab instead. Now guys, if you want to understand how more jungle is clear in this game, then make sure to check out my Kindred guide I made a few days ago. And also make sure to subscribe if you want to see more Nidalee guides in the future. It's one of my favorite champs, so I will make sure to post another one more in depth soon. Also, leave a comment on what you want to see next and what I should improve on from this video. Anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.